hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Moose Henderson. I'm a wildlife photographer. Today we're going on a trip to show you the locations of where you can find mountain goats and marmots in the Jackson Hole area. There were at one time mountain goats up in the park but they eradicated them here in the last year. So the best place to go to see mountain goats is south of town in an area known as the Snake River Canyon. Now we just went through a roundabout that is located at Hoback Junction and this is at the far south end of Jackson Hole. And Jackson Hole is the valley that includes Jackson and the other cities such as Wilson, Hoback, and so on. Now as you drive down into Snake River Canyon, after you pass the Hoback Roundabout, you'll notice that there's two exits at the Hoback Roundabout. One goes towards Star Valley and the other one goes towards Pinedale. You want to take the exit that goes towards Star Valley and that's the one that goes on down alongside the Snake River. The Snake River will be on your east side and the canyon walls will be on both your east and west sides but primarily the west side will be where the canyon walls are exposed the most. This is a scenic drive that is an enjoyable drive especially in the mornings and the afternoons. Today we happen to have kind of a rainy day which I consider an ideal time to go and show you one of the local hot spots because it's not ideal for photography. The light is a bit flat and even if the animals are out uh, you'll lack a little bit of sparkle and whatnot. Now in the Jackson Hole area do always bring clothes for both the warm temperatures and the cold temperatures because we can get snow at any month of the year. I have seen it snow in the Jackson Hole area in July. In fact I'm making this video towards the latter half of May and we had snow yesterday. So as you look out in the distance you can see that the mountains are snow capped and that's not an illusion. We'll have snow on these mountain caps until roughly the middle of June maybe the beginning of July. The elevation of these mountaintops is roughly eight to 10,000 feet and we're currently traveling at approximately 6,000 feet. We're going down into the canyon which will go down to roughly 5,900, maybe 6,000 feet and then we'll come back out of the canyon at Star Valley and be at approximately 6,200 feet. So we're over a mile above sea level here and our temperatures in the area during the summer tend to hover around the 60s and 70s during the daytime and at nighttime our temperatures tend to be in the high 30s and 40s. This open field you see over to the west hand side is a good area to watch for mule deer and during the late spring and the early autumn it's also a good area to watch for elk especially during migration. This is a good area to watch for mule deer and elk and we're traveling down to an area known as Lunch Counter Kahuna. This is named after the fact that this is where the whitewater trips are executed and this is an area of whitewater that is uh, pretty rough and so that's the reason it got the name Kahuna. 
We'll come back as soon as we reach the lunch counter kahuna and there is a rock outcropping at that area that is well known for being able to find the mountain goats. Okay, we have arrived at lunch counter kahuna, as you can see by the sign here. So once you get to the sign that says lunch counter kahuna, continue south on Highway 89 and we'll come to a major outcropping on the west side of the road or the right hand side of the road as you're heading south and this rock outcropping is where you will be able to find the mountain goats and I generally like to park prior to the outcropping. You can see it right up there past these road barricades or these road uh, protectors. And basically what you do is you look up onto the cliffs for the mountain goats. And sometimes they'll be down at the base of the cliff eating grass. Other times they'll be lounging up on one of those little shelves of the cliff and they can practically walk almost straight up and down that rock face and when you are able to find them they're fairly easy to photograph many times I will go over on the east side of the road over there by the the metal barricade and that way I'm photographing the mountain goats up on the cliff but not at such a high angle because I'm farther away and I'll use a 600 millimeter lens and I'll get frame filling images of the mountain goats up there on the cliffs. Now you can photograph them from the west side of the road over here where we're parked right now. Sometimes you can do it back here just to the north of this cliff face or down south of the cliff face but a lot of times you're photographing so far of an angle up on the cliff that it's not that pleasing of an image. So it's better to get back a little bit where the angle of your lens is not quite so steep and it doesn't look like you're looking up at the animal so much. This is also a good area to look for marmots. It is not the best area, but on occasion you will see them here. The mountain goats that are here on occasion are very dirty. If it happens to be during the summer or the early spring rains where there's a lot of mud and stuff, then the mountain goats will get pretty dirty and sometimes the pictures look pretty dingy. As the snow begins to fall, then the mountain goats clean up pretty quickly and you get the mountain goats that look almost bleached white and super beautiful like you see in these images that I'm showing on the screen now. I would say that I find the mountain goats here on these outcrops about 5% of the time. So a lot of times you'll make a trip down here and won't find the mountain goats at all which is why I consider the marmots to be a good backup and now the variety of marmots we have here in the Tetons is known as yellow-bellied marmots. And these guys are about the size of a house cat. So they're a pretty good size. And generally speaking, they're dark in color, brownish to blackish in color. The best place to photograph the marmots is down closer to Alpine. The Snake River Canyon is also an excellent area to come and do landscape photography. With the multiple S-curves of the Snake River and the rock outcroppings down here, the dramatic skies, it just makes an ideal area to come and do landscape photography. The beautiful foliage, the different colors of the trees between the dark greens of the conifers and the lighter greens of the cottonwoods and various other trees that are down here 
it's just a beautiful area to come and do landscape photography as you can see by this view directly in front of us looking down into the valley of Star Valley. This will be the town of Alpine, will be the first town that you come to in Star Valley. And there's a number of little towns down in Star Valley. If you happen to be a birder, this would probably be a good area to come and look for birds. I am not a birder, so I'm not totally qualified to give you advice about the birds, but I have seen osprey, uh, bald eagles, a number of other kinds of birds, and of course for me there's blackbirds and bluebirds and white birds and yellow birds. So I'm not a birder, my passion is mammals, but as my friends uh, Katie and Josh refer to themselves as bird nerds, I'm sure they would absolutely love this area with the wide variety of birds that we have. Now we're coming close to the area where you can find the marmots and you'll recognize this area by the Targi National Forest sign over here on the east side of the road. So just park over here and the area of the marmots is this cliff side that is right over here on the west. So this cliff face you see right over here on the west hand side, there's a number of indentations in the cliff and many times you'll be able to find marmots right in these indentations as you can see by these photographs that I'm showing on the screen. Directly to the east is the Snake River. And again, if you're a landscape photographer, this has got to be a dream location for you also. So that pretty much wraps up our video about the Snake River Canyon and the location of the mountain goats and the yellow-bellied marmots. I hope you have enjoyed this video and enjoyed the photographs that have been posted here. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And thank you so much for joining us for this view of the Snake River Canyon and the location of these animals and a couple of birds that we have here. I look forward to seeing you back on the channel again soon. If you would, hit the like icon. And if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing today. Thank you so much, and I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.